PSA Reloaded, man. It's your boy, Three Letter, man. Y'all know the rest already, man. I don't even know where to start at, man. You know. Hmm. Easter Sunday. Day of Resurrection. Hours later, we lose DJ Casely. I'm up this morning getting ready for work. And I just want to get a few things off my chest about the passing of um, DJ K. Slay. Um, you know, it's funny, me and, my, me and my brother Watson did a show recently called Mixtape DJs. Just two weeks ago, we did a show on that, right? Two Saturdays ago, we did a show on that. And we were talking about K. Slay and everything like that. Um, if you go to my Instagram page, prior to the post I put up this morning, I had a post months ago prior to K Slate when he was when we first heard that he was in the hospital fighting this illness, right? Um when you hear that thing say the drama king is in the building. The drama king is in the building. That just You know what that meant. You know when you heard that the drama king is in the building, whether when he was on radio, whether he was on, on, on doing mix, um, doing the street sweep, sweeping his mixtapes and everything like that. The drama king is in the building. Man, Slay. R.I.P. to DJ K. Slay, man. R.I.P. DJ K. Slay. To put those words together, bro, it's just... Y'all know how much I cherish the early 2000s. Yes, I come from the 80s and the 90s, but the mixtape era, man, that era meant a lot to me. To a lot of us, let's be honest. To a lot of us, I ain't the only one. You know what I'm saying? To say that if you're a hip-hop head and you lived in that era and someone slave was dropping mixtapes every other week, you were copping them. You was copping them. Sometimes you don't even need to look at the track listing anymore. It just said Street Sweepers K Slay name on it. And you was copping. So I'm understanding that this news broke out by WAC 100 giving the news on Clubhouse. Now, no matter what anybody thinks of WAC 100, him and K Slay had a great relationship. It's been well documented. I've seen Slay talk about Wack before. I've seen Wack talk about Slay before. And for all this, the um, wild-ish Wack 100 would say sometimes in Clubhouse, the respect factor that, that brother has for Slay. You know what I'm saying? So, obviously him breaking the news on Clubhouse, I'm, I'm pretty sure he got the, he got the AOK, -okay, the, 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 the AOK -okay that got and dropped that type of news on Clubhouse, man. Y'all, hip hop world, hip hop, hip hop. We lost a, we lost a, a big one. We lost, we lost an important figure to hip hop. An important figure to hip hop. Contributions to hip hop. If you did graffiti, if you were in a documentary movie, if you were breaking artists, you are an important figure to this thing we call hip hop. Before they took my channel down, this show was called PSA Hip Hop. Yes, PSA was loaded, but this will always be called PSA Hip Hop. Always in my heart of hearts. From Star Wars to what he meant to a DJ. Like, I, fam, I could. I could have, I, I would have had a, a five mic interview with K Slay, man, just to dig that brother's brain from him being here so early. 
He's older than me, of course. But just to dig his brain from where he came from, Harlem. El Barrio was good. You know what I'm saying? Harlem was good. But this is bigger than New York City. Oh, let's not get it twisted. This is bigger than New York City. Bigger than New York City. You could be from Alabama, Atlanta, Houston. It's hip hop. Yes, they try to separate us all. Region talk on oh, New York versus Atlanta, East Coast, West Coast, BS. They they do it us in the 90s. But this is the culture, culture, the culture, culture, the culture, hip hop. MC and DJ graffiti. My phone is buzzing like two, three in the morning. I'm like, fam, what's good? And then you get the news about slaves, man. Dez, Dez, Dez. A lot of people know case slave by Dez. Dez. Smacking DJs up there, case slave. I know you are. I know you smacking DJs up there, brother. It's how many lives we lost to. This C-19 word. Fred the Godson fighting implications. Slay been in there for like months. Has he not been in there for like months now, bro? It's like January. And anytime I, I would go to YouTube or, you know, talk about the hit mixtape game on the show... Okay, Slay name just comes in your head. It just does, bro. Like, and you know, if ands or buts about that, you know, Elliot Wilson, you up there talking about um, DJ Drama was, was was the um, best DJ of all time. I'm not even gonna touch that right now. We off that. We off. The, we been on that already. I'm, I, I'm just my bad. I don't even want to go there. Part of stuff, y'all. Staying focused. My bad. Grab that water, three man. DJ, graffiti artist. Slay been in this hip hop thing forever, man. Forever. Those street sweepers CDs, they stayed in rotation. You you treat those things like like after your kids, those DJ K Slay mixtape CDs, bro. You, you couldn't get them drinks scratched up. I wanna I, I had a, dogs. I made sure I bought a CD book just to place them K Slay CDs in there. Bigger than New York because Slay rocked with a lot of people. We know Slay would have a song with Buster Rhymes, 3 Six Mafia, and Crumb Snatcher. He'll do some, like, he'll just do some stuff like that. And you're like, Slay was always. Bringing the people together, different voices together. Yeah, you don't have to be from this region. We put everybody together. That was Slay. Fam, he was the one that, that, that broke, he broke Ether. Yeah, hope he broke Ether. Yeah, Nas. Slay had Ether in a cut. Like, think about that. You got Ether. You, you, you got Ether. Nas got this by Hove. Wait, it took six months for Nas to drop Ether. And Slay is sitting on this. He heard this before all of us. All of us. If you were an artist coming up in the mixtape era... And K Slake either way, he brought you to the to the studio or to his crib to lay a verse. That meant the world to you as an up, up, upcoming artist. And you were, if you were an established artist also, 
You knew when 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 you was you you, you was dropping a verse with, with Slay, you had to come correct. You had to come correct, and you wanted to come correct. Slay, throw the beat on, son. K. Slay voice before the songs. You know how we talk about Fifty Cent. How at the end of the songs. 50 would just talk crazy. But Slay in the beginning of the songs. All these verses. Like I said, man, I know Slay been, it's been like January to now. Slay with like three, four months. I like Slay been. And I'm looking at Miss Hustle tweets. She's feeling it because she know what Slay meant to her. When when Hustle decided to, you know, to, to do music full time, it was Slay that was giving her all these the big time artists to work with. The Rayquans of the world. Slay was the one that was trying to get Hustle popping in, in the music. In the music. Contributions to hip hop. Graph, stack bundles. Hey, who? I mean, come on. There's so many names. I see. I'll be sitting all day just name dropping, like I'm game from the West Coast. I'm not. I'm not gonna name drop. Oh, come on. Like pushing T safe. You know. You know. But of course, I gotta mention Papoo's name. Pat, I know you're feeling it right now. Pat, one love to you, brother. You know what it is, Pat. Uncle Murder, Mano, a bunch of rappers, dog. I, I'm not gonna say. Hey. When someone say, yo, it's DJ K Slay, the drama king, and I'm working with my new artist, his name is Pat Poose. Remember that? Remember that? K Slay in the videos with with, 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 with um with Pat Poose and the, and, the, and the savages and all that. Let's be real, man. We 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 heard Pat Poose before Slay, of course, on the G Rap joint. But dogs, Slay was trying to get this man out of here in a good way. When I say out of here. I remember Slay on the DVD with Pap and Ram before they became an item. I don't want to say he played a part, but I just remember seeing that. I remember Slay playing the first time Fat Joe and 50 did the uh, free drink together. It was Slay who broke that song when Fat Joe and, and, and 50 decided to squash the beef and get in the booth and, and do music. Thursday nights when Slay was on the radio getting his one two on. Man. Slay had a um this one freestyle to play all the time, y'all. It's on YouTube. Y'all can check it out, man. It was Slay, it was on, it was Papoose, Gravy, and J Mills. Fun, son, they was rapping for like 24 minutes. Wow. You stay wild. Y'all go check that out if y'all can, man. You know what I'm saying? Ransom tweeted out, um, I don't mess with a lot of dudes, but Slay was a real one. And that's what you're going to see a lot of people saying this, bro. My man RJ Payne blew it down up there. OT the real. Like, mad P. Like, seen du DJ Duop's post up there, man. Like, you know, Tony Touch, Flex, all these brothers, man. Like, man. Me and O tweeted out, you gave me a shot. And I never looked back. You gave me a shot, Slay. And I took it and I never looked back. Thank you, Slay. Man, was 55 years old, bro. 55. 
When I tell y'all, man, do not take life for granted. And you young boys out there, man, I'm going to say this to y'all again, man. Y'all love making fun of old heads, bro. Can some of y'all make it to 55? I don't, I don't say he was placed on a ventilator. Like when you heard he was placed on a ventilator, you just... Graffiti artist, son. Before he became a DJ, the man was tagging, tagging. Hey, that's what's good. Son, when you hear the word street sweepers, street sweepers, you can't tell me K Slate is not the first person. If you hit my man, part itself. If you hit my man, you hear the word street sweepers. You can't tell me K Slate's name. Doesn't pop in your head, bro. Like, Slate come from the Grandmaster Flash, Grandmaster Wizard Theodore, Cool Herc, let a learn. He come from that tree. Slate, thank you. We love you. Condolences to your family, to the hip hop culture, the culture of hip hop. And let me just tell y'all out there, I love y'all. Stay close to your family. Stay prayed up. One love.